I'll hold it like this. All right, hello, Internet. So today was day six, no, day 11, 11? Yeah, day 11, June 16, 2013. Today we rode from, where do we ride from? Carson, Carson City. City to, to Fallon. Fallon, Nevada. So we're in Nevada now, 100% in Nevada. Uh, we woke up this morning ridiculously early, like 4.30 in the morning. That is early. Like, I don't even wake up for 4.30 in the morning at home. What time do you usually wake up? Oh, God, uh, usually around like 9, 10-ish. Okay, I wake up at like 5.30. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is early for both of us. This is early for everybody. But uh, we woke up to my playlist this morning, which is awesome. I this think. is very good. Yeah, this is yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, we got Jesus tomorrow. He's going to be spinning some tunes in the morning, so we're, we're going to have some good wake-up for So we woke up, we went out and uh, had lunch, the Kiwanis Club. They fed us pancakes and sausage and fruit and all kinds of stuff, and more or less just keep filling up our uh, crew chief's van with food. Like, we have so much food in that van, it is ridiculous. Um, people keep giving us food. Uh, and then after that, we took some pictures, and we headed out. And uh, we went on a 65-mile ride, kind of pretty much through the desert today. So tell us about that ride. Uh, oh, by the way, this is, this is Alberto. My, my, my bad, my manners. This is Alberto Minacci. Minacci. Uh, and where are you from? Waterbury, Connecticut. And he goes to Iona College. In New Rochelle, New York. In Ro New Rochelle, New York. So tell us about that ride today. Over All right, so we did 65 miles today um, in the desert. Um, it was relatively flat. We had some uh, fun rolling hills for a little bit. Um, it was actually quite fun uh, when you're going on flatlands when there's not a lot of traffic. You get to actually talk at your baseline, which is really great. I was actually riding with Doug, so I got to learn a lot about his job and you know things back home, which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love learning things like uh, that. Yeah, it's nice to actually get to know people because I still, there's, you know, 35 people here and I still know pretty much nothing about a lot of people because, you know, we, we don't spend, we spend most of our days together riding and we don't spend, we only we have three people we ride with total, so, mm -hmm. so it's hard, but, uh, yeah, but we made it through today. It was a, it was a, we got there quickly, like, like we, we were, I don't think our, I don't think our project manager was expecting us to get in so quickly, but we got in quickly and, uh, our project manager had an issue. He uh, popped a tire in his van, so we we had a little bit of a wait at the end while we were waiting for our stuff to get here. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then uh, then we went off after we got here. We we went off to uh, like a convention center here in in Fallon, and we we hung out with um, the people from the Shredder Company, uh, humble humble Shredders, humble Shredders. Humble Shredders. Humble Shredders. And uh, it's a company that uh, gives people with disabilities uh, jobs and kind of trains them in the workforce. Uh, they had like a potluck dinner, and it was really good. They had all kinds of different stuff. And then there was a dance and karaoke. I actually did karaoke. That, that's not something you see, especially with sober. Like, that doesn't happen. So I did some karaoke. You did the piano, man, I, and it was absolutely fantastic. Everyone was... Uh, Pretty much blown out of their shoes about how good uh, how good Doug was singing. Yeah, my my voice crackled when I hit the high notes because uh, I don't have a high voice like that. But uh, but uh, yeah, it was it was fun and we did we did our we did our dance, which you know you'll see in DC. You know yeah. it, we'll we'll keep it a secret on the internet. You'll uh, you'll see it in DC. Hopefully, it'll be seen in DC. Oh, uh, we'll we'll all know it by then. I'm sure we'll have done it hundreds of times yeah. by then. And uh, yeah, it was it was a fun night. There was a lot of dancing. They did a raffle. We didn't win anything, which is a good thing because we don't have any room for anything. Our bags are pretty much full. Um, Mom, I don't really need any more things. Please don't send me any more stuff to put in my bag. I have no more room. I'm going to start sending stuff home. I got a package the other day. It had uh, a T-shirt, uh, almonds because I love all almonds, and a little foldable Frisbee. But even the T-shirt, that's, that's, uh, that's, I'm running out of room. Yeah, so these so. bags aren't as big as we wish they were. No, no. But even if they had more room, that would just make them heavier. Sure. So, but it was a fun day today. We got from A to B. Tomorrow we have our first century ride, and for those of you who don't know what a century is, it's 100 miles. So we have 112 miles tomorrow, and uh, out in the middle of nowhere, the lonely road, Highway 50 as they call it, um, and we still have like, what, like 200 more miles on this one road? Yeah, survival skill highway. Oh my God. The only highway that you actually have to have survival skills to ride on. Yeah. It's uh, it's hot, lonely, and there's nothing there. So, 
So tomorrow's going to be fun. Nine hours on a bike and going down the highway where there's nothing there. So anyway, so uh, keep keep watching the videos. Keep with my uh, blog, joh.theotherbrew.com. I believe Alberto here has a blog, and it's on the left-hand side here on my blog. It, it's just find his name, Alberto, and click on it, and his blog, you can get his point of view and his perspective on everything. When we have internet, you know, we don't really have internet, so you're probably not going to even see this video for another week, maybe. But uh, when we have internet, I'll post all the videos at once, and uh, you get to see what we've been up to. So I'm going to go and text type out what we did today. And then uh, I'm going to bed because we have 5.30 a.m. wake-up call. So, I agree. So, bedtime. All right, peace. Bye.